Colin Hocko studies patterns in the brain that cause mental illness. We want to understand what's happening in the brain that's causing people to have these illnesses and help psychiatrists understand how to treat those illnesses based on their biology. He's clearly passionate about the work. Maybe there's five types of depression. And type 1 responds to brain stimulation, type 2 responds to medication. So we can tell the physician, well, this person has type 1 depression, this is how you should treat them. He's the kind of young scientist the $100 million donor wants to support with the creation of the Discovery Fund. I have seen the devastating impact of mental illness, the mystery person says. I want to provide support to the next generation of researchers and scientists to pursue the research that will directly transform care. I'm trying to gather my thoughts to even uh, imagine where to start about how amazing this is uh, for the world of mental health, uh, an, an area of health care that has for too long been marginalized, uh, been held separate from health care. But a new trend is emerging. Between 1998 and 2004, CAMH raised $10.4 million from private donors. From 2011 to 2017, it raised $285 million. For those who have worked to end the stigma around mental health, there's a new challenge. As Canadians talk more and more about mental illness, those who are experiencing mental health problems are feeling more comfortable uh, speaking about their experience and seeking the help that they need, and especially seeking help early on. That does increase demand on services. A gift like this comes with a responsibility. Hocko says he'll start his application to the Discovery Fund on Monday. Stephanie Skanderis, CBC News, Toronto.